given the current situation, have real estate prices here in Los Angeles decreased? Everybody wants to know the answer to this question. Hey everybody, this is Jason. I sell homes with Compass here in Los Angeles. And if you like free money, go ahead and give me a like for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys for that. All right, so let's get into it. People are asking me, given the current situation, social distancing and the lockdown, have the prices of homes decreased here in Los Angeles? And also on top of that, in the future, will the prices of homes decrease as well? So in our current situation, real estate agents, we cannot hold an open house on Tuesdays and Sundays, and we cannot have what we would ideally have 20, 30, 40, 50 people piling into our home for sale to get a little buzz, you know, to get people looking at it, talking about it, neighbors looking at it, and a lot of exposure. We can't do that, so what are we doing? We're doing one by one appointments and making sure that everybody is wearing their protective gloves, their mask, all of the protective gear. And for our clients, we're wiping down and cleaning the home, especially if they have an underlying issue and or they're above the age of 65 just to be very careful so this is definitely a hassle for agents and also for our clients as well but we're doing what we can to make everything happen and continue with everything moving forward so to better predict the future what we usually do is look at the past and the information that we have so according to a curved la article the last worldwide pandemic that happened what we saw with real estate market sales and prices is they sharply went down very quickly, especially at the height of the infections. And then when people get, got their immunity, when they had medications and vaccines, um, shortly after the height of the infections, then prices went back to normal. So that's one way we could look at it. I'll tell you guys for, uh, for now, from what I'm seeing, the last hold that home that I sold the price did go down and it went down by 0.071%. So was my client disappointed? Well, my client wasn't happy about it, but she wasn't majorly disappointed. It didn't make a very large dif uh, difference. So imagine you buy a home in 1973 and flash forward more than 40 years later, you sell your home for $1.4 million. Would you, be, uh, would you be disappointed? No, you probably wouldn't and my client was fine. She earned enough money to take that home and buy another home and also invest it in other plans that she had with the money as well. And so this also goes into the question that a lot of people ask me, what is the long-term outlook of real estate, especially given our current situation? And most likely, I don't have a crystal ball and I can't tell you for sure, but most likely if you're going to live in a home for five years, 10 years, 20 years, mostly anything greater than five years, you're looking at a slow and gradual increase in the price of homes, especially in a place like Southern California here in Los Angeles that is popular. You have more people coming in. Now, for sure, you're gonna see dips and drops in the market and things go back up. This current situation did affect everything just a little bit and it does affect our ability to sell homes. Other things can affect the housing market as well, not just our current situation. So that's something to keep in mind. And some things are just kind of left to chance. You know, you can't predict everything, but you do know that long-term, most likely what we've seen in the past is that things, uh, prices have gone up and most likely that's what we'll see. I mean, think about it. If you know somebody who lives and owns a home here in Southern California, especially in Los Angeles, especially in a highly desirable place like Culver City or Venice Beach, and they've lived in that home for more than 30 years, are they happy or are they unhappy with what the value of their home is? They're probably happy. They probably moved into the home 30 or 40 years ago and bought it for 100,000 to 250,000, and now the home is probably worth well over a million dollars. So if you can afford it and you're looking to stay in the home for more than five years, most likely it is a good idea to buy a home. Now, if I'm talking about a home that you live in, like your main residence, now, if you're going to invest, that's a different story. And you should already know the answers to these questions and you should already know the risks involved. Even investors don't know the future and they cannot predict the future. But, you know, an investor, that's somebody who tries to look at what the market is doing. Is the market going up or down or not? If you're just going to live in a place and you know you're not in the military, going to be stationed somewhere else, you don't need to leave in six months or a year then it's probably a good idea as long as you can afford it to buy that home, especially here in Southern California, Los Angeles. So what we're seeing so far, 
two things that are helping the prices stay strong even during the current situation is that the interest rates are low what that means is that buyers can qualify for more money they could borrow more so the seller could put the home up for a higher price so homes typically sell for a higher price when the interest rates are low and currently as this video is made july 30th we have very low interest rates all right another thing is that the inventory is still low here locally in los angeles that is another thing that drives prices up high as long as you have a low inventory meaning less things to sell and more people who want to come in and buy them you know supply and demand you could probably sell what you're selling for a higher price that's what's happening with homes so the current example is in culver city according to redfin homes in culver city are still selling in 26 days or less that's pretty good as a realtor you want your home to sell typically i mean usually uh, it could change but usually in 30 days or less because in 30 days that's when you usually get the most attention the most people and the highest prices it can change a little bit but 30 days or less is good so 26 days is strong remember that's according to redfin also currently as this video is made on july 30th 2020 there are only nine homes for sale in culver city in the low range of 1.4 million dollars and below so let me explain if you're from outside of los angeles especially culver city culver city is very popular i grew up here in a typical low-end home that's more on the affordable side i know it sounds funny to say this is 1.4 million dollars and below this is a good price for a home that's kind of ready to move in you may need to do some electrical work you probably need to update things if you want to have a more modern style but more or less you can live in this home if it's a moderate size only nine of those are on the market and that is more or less the most desirable range in culver city like 1.4 uh, sorry 1.2 to 1.4 million dollars and that's what most people want so once again like i said what we're seeing is a low inventory and that helps the prices stay high i did a little more detailed research on these homes and in the last month the average days on the market for these 1.5 million dollar and below homes is that they were sold in 13 days or less and that's really good that is also a sign of a strong market that things are flying off the shelves people are buying them in 30 days or less well there you have it guys uh, if you like this video a little more flexible a little more chill please give me a thumbs up i wanted to try something new usually i give uh, people an area profile different places to live in los angeles this was a little more free flowing, a little more flexible, just talking about some news that I'm reading and answering some questions that friends and people that I know have been asking. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest real estate updates here in Los Angeles. And let us know in the comments down below, these prices that are ridiculously high, are they a good thing or are they a bad thing? How do you feel about it? Did you grow up here in Los Angeles? Are you new here to Los Angeles? Are you baffled by the prices? And also, do you guys think that these high prices will hold, especially given the current situation and we're in a second lockdown? So far, it looks like things are going pretty well, but things may change. We don't know. Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, are you guys looking to sell your home for the highest price? Get multiple buyers to come in and bid up for the highest price for your home? Go ahead and give me a call at the number you see right here. And we'll talk about our strategy, what we've done before, what has been proven to get multiple buyers in to view your home and get you guys the highest price so you could get to where you need to go if you're trying to escape from la or you're just trying to level up and buy a newer house all right well thank you guys this is jason we'll see you next time